Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Mickey. Today I thought it would be really fun to go through my makeup collection and get rid of anything that is old or gross, anything I do not use at all. If you guys have seen some of my other videos, I've talked about this a few times, but I rarely wear very much makeup at all. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, press that subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. My mom does not wear makeup. She wears it on special occasions only. So my exposure to makeup growing up was very minimal very minimal. I never had that much interest in it. I was a girly girl, don't get me wrong, but I, I've i never been very high maintenance. I have tried so many, so many combinations of primers and foundations. Every single type that I've ever tried makes my skin look so cake. So let's get into it. I kind of sorted this a little bit. The first thing is this Becca highlighter in Moonstone. There's actually a funny story. If you guys have a Becca highlighter, you know these guys are not cheap. And the day after I got this, I'm not even kidding you, the day after I dropped it and did this. <laughs> but I do still use this. I really like the color. It's like a, um, I don't know, like a champagne-y. There's a little bit of pink to it. I just open it and I very, very, very carefully take my highlighter brush and just tap it in. <laughs> Speaking of brush, this is not the highlighter brush that I use. This is just like a powder brush that I do use. Onto the next highlighter. This one was a gift from a friend and this is the Cover FX Hollow one halo it's called holographic drops this one i also do use this is more of a blue and i really like this one i like liquid highlighters a lot okay what's this this is a covergirl lipstick i went through a phase where i was obsessed with lipstick it's like a shiny pink lipstick so old, so nasty. Throwing that one away for sure. Um, I recently did a whole haul of Glossier products, filmed that video, but I didn't like the way it turned out, so I never actually ended up posting it. This is the Lash Lick Mascara. Oh God. This is the Lash Lick Mascara. This is new, so I'm not gonna get rid of it, but I absolutely do not like this mascara at all. I know a lot of people who rave about it, but from the few times that I've used it, <laughs> did, does anybody else do that? Smell your mascara, even though you know it smells gross. So my issue with this is that it didn't provide any length or any lift, and it just made my eyelashes stick straight out, which I mean, you could just use a curler and that would kind of solve that problem, but I don't have one. Barely added any darkness or anything. It like basically made my eyelashes just stick straight out and nothing else. <laughs> That's not even my main problem with it. My main problem with it is that I can't wear this for a full day because it like flakes off and gets into my eyes and it's just like not a vibe. So this is the Maybelline Makeup Extender Setting Spray. When I went through my big makeup phase, I was in second year of college the first time. So that was like two, three, four years ago. This is not good anymore. This is from the dollar store actually, fun fact. This is a really fluffy, fluffy powder brush. This one, um, I said, is a powder brush and it is. I use this one for powdered blush usually. And this one I use for like translucent or just like, like face powder. Here is the brush that I use for highlighting. This one is from Sephora. It is number 79. And this one is technically a contour brush for powdered highlight for my Becca highlight. Next we have the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. This one, again, four or five years old. <laughs> so that one's trash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like my favorite lip product. And this is the NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper, which is it's just like a, a tinted gloss which has like lip plumping 
I really like it. All right, what's next? This is a Revlon lipstick in the color Kiss Me Coral. Anyways, it's like a coral. Let me um, wipe off this lip gloss. We'll do a little try on and decide if we like it or not. Using you guys as a mirror. So what do we think? Ooh, I actually like it. It looks good in this lighting. Okay, keep. Here's another foundation. And like, I'll show you guys all the foundations I have at the end. I'm not kidding when I say I've tried like a million foundations. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Liquid Foundation in Buff Beige. Didn't like, made my skin look cakey. All right, next is a huge collection of NYX Liquid Lingerie Liquid Lips. I have pretty much every single color, even though they all are basically the same. This color looks horrible on me. It's way too light for my skin tone. I do not like liquid lips. <laughs> I went through a phase, like I said, where I was super into lipstick and this is back when matte liquid lips were a huge thing. The Kylie lip kits were such a big deal. So yeah, these are one, all expired, like all super expired, but I haven't worn these since that one year that I went crazy and was obsessed with liquid lipstick. This is kind of sad. This is a eyeshadow crayon, but the lid fell off and got all smooshed and it's literally covering everything. So we'll trash that. Next thing is the Glossier Skin Tint. Again, this one, it just, didn't work on my skin. It made it look cakey and gross. And before anybody comes for me, I have tried brushes, sponges, my fingers. I've tried many different ways of applying. This is brand new, so I don't want to get rid of it. Um, there's some of the eye crayon on this lid, which is, um, oh, here it is. For this, which is the Urban Decay Optical Illusions Complexion primer. Ugh. As I'm rubbing it into my hand, I can just tell how old this thing is. Ugh. Now I have that all over my hands. <laughs> this is the lid for this eyeshadow crayon. Here's a super dirty eyeshadow brush that's covered in that <laughs> crayon. What is this? L'Oreal Voluminous Liquid Eyeliner. Super old, covered in the <laughs> uh, eyeshadow crayon. Again. Ooh, okay, these are my favorite lipsticks. This is the NYX Matte. This is in the color Honeymoon, and it's a kind of nude, rosy. All right, this is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara, super old. Okay, here's another lipstick, another Revlon lipstick. This one's so depressing to me because this is one of my favorites. It's called Movie Night. And I like, as you can see, I didn't put the thing down far enough and I smooshed it, but I'm still gonna keep it because I love it. It's a dark, yeah, mauve. NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in shade number Light 2. This one is a great shade for me in the winter time when I'm pale, like I am now, super pale. This is one of my most recent makeup buys. And this is when I was just trying to desperately to find a foundation that would work for me. <sighs> Tried so hard, okay? So this one is a keep because I like this one a lot. And next we have my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in Buff Beige. This is a keep. I've been through three of these in my lifetime, in my makeup lifetime. It's just a pressed powder. I love this. This is a, another Glossier product. This is the Boy Brow. I got this in black. My eyebrow hairs are dork. This one is amazing. I have never been a person to do my brows, but I just love this product. So and next we'll dip in. We have another lipstick. This is a Rimmel London in the color Alarm. This is my only true red lipstick. As you can tell, I have a very thin top lip and I feel like makeup looks are just not complete without a lip. This is a Benefit They're Real Mini. So old, so old. Okay, so here is another NYX lipstick. This is in Hestia. And this is a dark, 
deep red. I'm gonna show you guys that on. My um, messy, app quick application is not gonna look that good. Ooh. <laughs> this color washes me out. I like to have the variety and the options. Quickly, let's go with my last two lipsticks. This one is from a brand from that vegan beauty box. This is the color Twist and Pout. The brand is Red Apple Lipstick. <laughs> oh my god. It's so broken and messed up. <laughs> I don't know if this is even usable anymore, but that's the color. It's just a nice dusty pink. And this one is another Revlon. This is in the color Fuchsia Fusion. So again, a pink. This one's more of a bright, colorful pink. I'm gonna take um, this red color off. Okay, so this one that's like mangled, I'm gonna get rid of, and I'm going to put this one on. Put the fuchsia one on, why not? I'm fully wiping this off on my shirt. I'm a classy girl. It doesn't even look that bright on camera, but it's cute, I love it. Love these lipsticks. There's some like, hair ties and like grossness in here. As you can see, this makeup bag is so stained. The last product in this pink makeup bag, the original Fenty Beauty foundation. Oh my God, it's just such a mess. I, again, this is full coverage matte foundation is not for me. Um, when Fenty Beauty, I, it doesn't even work anymore, guys. The lid is so broken. All right, we're almost done. A couple more things in here. This is my, everything is covered in so much makeup. <laughs> this is my Benefit Hula bronzer, um, just in the regular, regular shade. I uh, do use this as my contour. This is a Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the color Feisty. This is my favorite powder blush I have ever used. This is a mini that I got in an Ipsy Glam bag. Okay, and the last two are Glossier products, which again, like I said, I got not too long ago. So this is the Glossier Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color. This is in the shade Storm. I'll use either the Cloud Paint or the Tarte for my blush. And the last thing that I have in here is my Glossier stretch concealer this is in the shade g10 i do love this concealer i just use my fingers warm it up a little bit and just pat 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 and uh yeah that's it they are empty so i hope you guys enjoyed going through my makeup collection with me i have been kind of slowly working through my home decluttering a whole bunch of stuff organizing a whole bunch of stuff and it just feels so good to finally be rid of that mess. That is it guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, give the video a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe down below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.